Hello everyone, Joel here from Golf Monthly. I hope you're well, and in this video, we're gonna be attempting to decide if the new Titleist True Feel Golf Ball is the best golf ball you can buy for 20 pounds. It's a very competitive, crowded market at the entry level golf ball. Um, the RRP on this golf ball is 23 pounds, but hopefully you'll be able to buy it in your local pro shop for 20 pounds. It replaces the DT True Soft, which we know was a very, very soft feeling, low compression golf ball. But what Titleist have done with this golf ball is they've changed the core formulation. So they've included more of the faster materials that generate the ball speed off the tee while helping keep spin nice and low as well. So you should get a nice combination of low spin, added ball speed to give you more distance. In terms of short game spin, Titleist say, well the box says with this true field golf ball, it should deliver excellent greenside control. We know it's not a urethane covered golf ball, so it's unlikely to spin as much as the Titleist Pro V1X golf ball that I currently play. Um, but in this video, we're gonna be putting this to the test out on the golf course, on the launch monitor. I've been testing it up against my Titleist Pro V1X golf ball in an attempt to decide how it compares to that kind of next level golf ball, premium golf ball that Pro V1X is over double the price of this true field golf ball, but are you getting double the performance? Let's find out. Right, so before we head out onto the golf course, to test the true field golf ball. Let's just first look at the launch one of the data. We hit a 50 yard pitch shot, we hit a seven iron, we hit a driver with the true field golf ball. And I guess with the pitch shot, first of all, we're looking at launch and spin. And interestingly, the launch angle with the true field golf ball was very similar to the Pro V1X, 0.4 of a degree higher. So not a great deal of difference there. And um, we look at the spin numbers, uh, average RPM with the true field of 6,585, compare that to the Pro V1X, it was 7.2-ish. So, yeah, there is a drop off slightly in spin control on that shorter 50 yard pitch shot. You look at the spin numbers on individual shots and there were some shots with the true field golf ball that spun at 7.3, some at 7.1. So, you know, strike plays a part and there are a lot of other variables in play. And then moving on to the seven iron, you know, this is where I was surprised to see true field compare quite similarly to where I am with my current golf ball, the Pro V1X. Look at the, the ball speed is around about where I usually am. The spin is 6,000. I was expecting it to be a bit lower than that. So that's pretty good um, around where I normally am with a seven iron and average carry of 165. Again, distance wise, very comparable with what I currently play, which is surprisingly impressive for me. And then moving on to the driver where I would say arguably in terms of the launch one of the data, this is where the greatest difference between true field and what I currently play is found. Ball speed is down at 151 with the true field. You know, normally I'm around about 154 with driver. Um, and then you look at the spin number is averaging two and a half thousand. That's okay. It's a little bit high, but it's not dramatically high. Um, peak height of 39 yards is a little bit high. And then the distance, you know, there's an average there of 260. There were some shots out there at 266 and 265, which is definitely competitive. It is down on where I normally am with Pro V1X, um, but it's not disastrous. Uh, there are a couple of kind of shorter shots bringing the average down there, um, but it definitely is shorter than what I currently play the Pro V1X, this true field golf ball. But I think it's about time we took them out on the golf course now and put them in play in a real world environment to see how these balls actually play rather than just looking at numbers on the launch ones. So let's get out there. Okay, so we come to the second tee here at Burley Park Golf Club in Stamford. Apologies, it's a little bit windy, but we've seen what the launch monitor has told us about the Titleist True Feel. And I've got, obviously, the True Feel golf ball here. I'm gonna compare it up against my current golf ball, the Titleist Pro V1X. Um, in a real world environment on this hole, it's a pretty dead straight par four, trees either side. So it's a good way to kind of test the direct comparison out on the golf course and you know noticing differences in curvature ball flight distance those sorts of things will go up and see where they finish afterwards but first thing to notice when you kind of have both of the golf balls on your hand is that the pro v1 x looks a little bit of a duller white color than the titleist true feel so a bit of a brighter white color um, with this true feel golf ball kind of a little bit shiny a bit more of a sheen to it um, so let's hit the pro v1 x first just to kind of set the uh Kind of base numbers obviously you know this is the golf ball i currently play let's hit one with this ball and then we'll move on to the true feel okay so i'm pretty happy with that one just down the right side uh so let's move on to the true feel see if we can notice any differences in well feel first of all but also the flight and then we'll go and see where they finish
Okay, noticeably lower there on that golf ball. Struck it pretty well. Uh, let's go and see where they're finished. Right, so we come up to the fairway here, see where the balls are, and then you can see that's my Pro V1X, which I hit pretty well. It was slightly out of the heel, but basically in a direct line with that one, I don't know if you can see it, is my uh, Titleist True Fields. So really, I did, I did strike that a little bit better, but what I would conclude from this is that in a real world environment, strike plays arguably a bigger part in how far the ball goes. Um, and if you do strike it well up the middle, the, the uh, True Field golf ball can go considerable distances and comparable with other golf balls in the Titleist line. I would say if I absolutely hit the Titleist Pro V1X, out of the screws like I did the true feel. I'll probably get two or three more yards extra oh, based on kind of what I've seen on the launch monitor and also uh, from this test here. Um, but basically, not really much in it. So we've seen launch monitor telling us that the new true feel golf ball perhaps doesn't spin quite as much on a 50 yard pitch shot, but what about those kind of shorter finesse shots around the green? Um, I've got a much shorter shot here, probably more like 25 yards going to kind of see exactly how the true feel compares to the Pro V1X, my current golf ball. So this is the Pro V1X. I like the, the fact that it comes out low, kind of grips and then releases up. So it's a pretty good shot there um, to about six feet. And then if we try the true feel golf ball, a little bit higher, but you see it did still check up a little bit. So. You know, honestly, actually got a bit closer. Um, probably hit that a little bit harder, which is why it's um, gone a little bit further and close to the pin. But see, the notice on even like that length of shot, a slight difference in flight definitely came off a little bit higher, um, but still had an element of check on that second bounce. What I would say is that on um, maybe shorter shots and um, shots when you're short-sided, you'll probably end up having to uh, land the ball a little bit closer to where you are just to allow for a little bit of extra release. I would say there was a little bit of extra release there, but not a great deal, an element of check, especially when the conditions are soft like this. So I don't think you're losing a great deal when it comes to short game either. Now, another situation that Titleists say using a true field golf ball should give you an advantage is on the greens. And that's because Titleists have incorporated this new side stamp design on this true field golf ball. It was the most popular side stamp design that was chosen on the Titleist website. There was over 10, I think, to choose from. Uh, and this was the most popular design. It's actually in black, but Titleist have made it red for the True Field Golf Ball. It's two longer red lines with kind of two red dashes in between them. And I can see why if you use a line to line up your putts on the greens, this would definitely help you. We've seen Callaway bring out their triple track design, which was three lines. This is kind of similar to that, that kind of three line concept, if you like. It's a little bit different. Um, personally, I'm not someone that uses a line on the ball, I find it a bit distracting and I would take a lot of time to kind of get it exactly where I want it to be pointing and I would definitely slow down play. But if you do use a line on the golf ball, definitely worth a try. Uh, there would be some people who would say they would prefer a longer, thicker sight line, but definitely worth a go if you use it uh, to line up your putts on the greens. And this is another kind of opportunity to kind of assess how the true field ball does feel on the greens. Had a practice putt here earlier and Generally, I would say that actually feels obviously very soft and a little bit jumpy. So it feels like it kind of springs off the face a little bit quicker than kind of my current bug golf ball, which is the Pro V1X. So, you know, maybe you find yourself not hitting the ball as hard on the greens, especially on mid to short putts. Uh, let's see if we've got this lined up exactly where we want it to. There you go. Seems to work for me. It definitely feels a little bit springier off the face on the greens. Not necessarily dislike that at all, you know, just a little bit different compared to what I currently play. Um, but with that side stamp design, could certainly help you out from short range. Just waiting for the uh, fairway to clear up ahead. But I suppose, thinking about it, you could use the True Feel golf ball side stamp to help with your alignment off the tee as well. Not something I've ever done, but definitely if you struggle with your start lines off the tee and you struggle with accuracy, maybe using that True Feel side stamp off the tee could be a really helpful tool for you. So hopefully you found this video useful with ascertaining whether the Titleist True Field Golf Ball is the best golf ball you can buy for £20. Uh, for me, it's definitely one of the best. You know, there are a lot of other decent options out there. You think of uh, some options from Shrikshan, uh, Wilson as well, do some really good lower price point options as the wind kicks up here at Birdie Park Golf Club. Apologies for that. 
And while if you switch to kind of these type of golf ball, you know, low compression, soft feeling golf balls, for me, you are sacrificing a little bit of distance off the tee, but I don't really think you're sacrificing a whole lot else. Definitely iron play is an area where it was comparable with uh, premium golf balls. We saw that um, with the launch monitor, how this was actually surprisingly comparable with the Pro Evo Next golf ball I currently play. Around the greens definitely will fly a little bit higher and that will help you get the ball to stop a little bit quicker, even though it doesn't check up as quickly as a urethane golf ball like a Pro Evo X. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, the distance between those premium urethane golf balls and kind of iron armor cover golf balls or you know, non-urethane golf balls like this Truefield golf ball, it's definitely reducing. You've got the extra height to help with the stopping power. And if you do nip it cleanly, there is an element of check, you know, element of grab on the second or third bounce. So while you might have to kind of allow a little bit of extra run, and if you are short-sided, you might struggle to get it close to the flag. Um, I think, you know, performance has definitely improved this kind of level of golf ball. So hopefully this has given you a really good flavor about what this true field golf ball is about. Definitely an incredible amount of value for me uh, for 20 pounds a dozen, if you can find it for 20 pounds a dozen. The RRP is 23 pounds, like I mentioned before, but um, there you have it, Titleist true field golf ball. Um, very impressive all-round offering for the price and hopefully this has given you a really good idea about what it's all about. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, are you interested in a golf ball like this? What's your ceiling price for golf balls? How much do you pay? I'd love to hear from you. You know, golf balls are getting more and more expensive and 50, 52 pound a dozen, you know, for some people it's too much. And, you know, this is the price point level where a lot of golfers are sitting at. That's, where they com that's what they're comfortable paying for their golf balls. Is that where you're at or are you happy to pay a bit more? Uh, for a little bit more distance and a little bit more short game control. I'd love to hear from you, but from a very windy Birdie Park Golf Club, it's goodbye.